Yeah. Welcome to the channel, Mac Back to Bill. Today we picking up on the CRX bodywork from the other day collab with the EG Hatch. I'm specifically working on the uh, CRX today. So without further waiting, we're gonna get to it. There's a lot to cover today, so let's get it. All right, so the last time that we was here, we did this side. I gotta sand it a little better. My other machine was messed up. It sanded pretty good, but I still gotta get rid of like a little line so here. So that's nothing, I should be able to work it out with 180. Smooth it out a little better so we could put icing. I also started doing the fenders, taking out the little rust that I had, the patina. And we also working in the hood. So I'm gonna keep sanding as much as I can all around and we see where we at today. So with that being said, let's get it. I had a few spots over here, they were like rusted a little bit. So I simply resanded it out, smoothed it out, and we got it all strained up to the point that we could just prime it. The same over here, patina's gone. The same on this fender, and that's how I just seen. I sanded it, smoothed it out. So I'm gonna go simply with a little filling on this fender, keeping it in the good condition. Once that we send the back, same thing, it's gonna be iced out. This is gonna be iced out. We'll sand it and we'll prime it. This is pretty much most of the body work on the CRX as we speak. I say most because I still got all the things that I have to do. I have to do the size car repairs. Obviously they're separate from the car. So I could do that by myself, separate. Right now what we're trying to do is all the body parts. The quarter panels, doors, fenders, hood. Front bumper, I'm not worried about it because like I said, we got a new bumper that my boy picked up that I have to put on. The back, however, I do have it in the basement. But it does go back, I could send that down as well the same day that I do the uh, side skirts. So for the meantime, I'm trying to knock out the body work before snow hit in case I gotta move the car. You never know what things might land here today. We might have to relocate tomorrow. So if that does happen, I want to have the car body-wise prep in primer that at any moment I could move on to start spraying baseball on her. We still have tons of work. I got engine bag to work to do. That's separate from the body work. I got engine floor to do on this. It's separate from the body work outside. So if I was to paint this car outside right now, it wouldn't interfere with what I'm doing on the floor. So that's what I mean. I'm trying to do all the exterior, which is the body work, so that I could concentrate on the floor, then the engine bay, and hopefully it's go time and get it painted. So I'm gonna simply move on to smooth out the back and we'll move on from there. So let's get it. All right, boys. This is already sanded, finished. I went over with the machine again. It's ready for me to take some icing, clean it up first, and address in the spot that I need. I'm probably just gonna do the whole thing. Just when I send the icing, I'm gonna be really cautious, do it by hand if I have to. This is final touch here, everything is done. Over here, I sand it as best I could. So I'm just gonna do a better wipe with the icing to smooth it out, and I'm gonna hand sand it, give it the shape again. And then I did this quarter panel. Quarter panel was here, but it's in good condition. And just saving whatever work was in here, making it better. So I'm gonna smooth this out. Plus remember, we got the uh, fiberglass side kit from the body kit. It's gonna come up over here and hide this up. But just because it's gonna hide it, I'm not gonna do something 
This is gonna look whack, so I'm gonna smooth it out, make it look with the curves like it's supposed to blend in natural, make it look sexy. Right now it's looking good. Another part that I dressed, it was this. If you remember, it was like crack. This is exactly what I came out out of there. It was all filler or bando, whatever. It was crack, nothing wrong with it. Simply sanded it out. Now we could proceed to uh, maybe filling it a little bit. Sand it and primer, but that's also well done. Along with the fender, so we got front fender done, the hood is done. We got the door ready, they get prepped, pretty much done. This side of the quarter done, excuse me. Now we're gonna move on to do the other side of the quarter panel, the same thing. Smooth it out as best I can with the machine. And this is done. This side of the door is pretty much in good condition. The fender is done. The hood, the trunk door, I'm not worrying about sanding it because remember, we're gonna replace it. So pretty much the body work on the CRX is almost done. I'll say about 85%. That's what I'm doing now. So that we could hand sand a few things and start priming up soon. So let me send this off camera again. Again, I'll show you the difference what I'm doing. Just kind of harder to put a tripod here at the same time and black and stuff like that. The phone gets dirty and all that. So I'm gonna simply send it. We see it like that now. We see the difference at the end. Just like I did in that side. And um, yeah, looking good. It's looking money. Hopefully we could wipe it off, clean it, dust it off. Start laying a little ice into there, let it dry. Same in the front. Come back, sand it, and at some point start uh, priming it. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited. So let me send that out, and I'll come back and show you guys how to look like.
All right, boys, we pretty much done with everything body wise. This is like little spots, double chip we seen. So I sand them. You can simply fill it up a little bit with icing. Everything is ready, sanded and smooth. The door, the quarter, driver fender, passenger fender, driver rear quarter. We got a nice and smooth everything. Nice and shape. Now you see what I mean about the shapes. This one we got a little shapeder or more rounder, better shape if you want to call it. So that's what I gotta do on that side. You simply blend it in here. If you guys see and pay attention over here, everything got the same curves, everything is nice and cover, nothing doesn't look altered. So yeah. I still gotta work over here, fill it in a little bit. One wiping in fiberglass, one wiping in uh, icing, so they could have coverage. But overall, got pretty much everything sanded that we need to. Another spot over here that I seen that was like crack and stuff like that. Anything that I seen crack or chip that we could send down. We smoothing it out. The car was multiple times painted. I guess at some point it was painted neon green. Kind of like the Fast and the Furious, I guess. So the car was painted over on top yellow. We are going with the yellow. So we're just working the spots that do need attention because the paint is too good. If you guys pay attention in some spots, you see the glossy, that's too good. So there's no need and sending the whole yellow off and take it to the burr metal because that means that we have to do more priming and more reasons for the, the rust to come back if we do that so that primer that paint is good only the spots they need fixing i'm addressing and that's what we're doing so i'm gonna simply dust it off give it a little wiping and see what we after that so let's get all right i dust off the uh, crx real good with the duster or air dryer whatever um everything is wiped off just so you guys have a better view it's nice and smooth it's ready for primer now we could see the car a little better i hate working with dust this is a little better so we're just gonna fill it in a little bit at some point we're gonna ice fill it sand it up so that we could prime it, that'll be the finest touches. But overall, you guys see that she's not in bad condition at all. It's like small things that I'm addressing now. That's pretty much everything. In the future, once that we do the body, which is what we're doing now, then we can move on to the floor and the engine bay that we have to do. So I'm gonna come back with you guys in a few and start icing things up. So with that being said, let's get it. Well. I want to pull it yet because I don't have the tripod that functionally put you guys in tripod to show you how to simple icing. No different than applying fiberglass or regular bundle. But I did apply it on this side, let them dry. Got a few more spots that I got to go over. I just doing that in sections so it comes out smoother. Did the door as well. So I'm going to move to the other quarter panel. Then we move on to the fender and we go all around fill up a little bit more where we need to and um we see where we stand that let's get it all right so we got most of it covered i moved along and then the fender while i was at it so i knocked out the whole side that will by the time it's sand it dries probably next time i could send it out even along with everything we also did those spots in the hood to be safe so it wasn't exposed metal we're gonna hand sand those so it's nice and smooth but that's the dress so looking money now we're gonna move to that quarter hopefully that's it and we should wrap it up
that's pretty much gonna wrap it as far as body wise everything is covered daylight is going really fast on me um it's not like i could just dry this in 15 minutes and sand it however i want to let it dry come back tomorrow and sand it like i said it should look good both sides everything we touched up to the point that i could just hand sand it low machine burning off in some spots and that should be able to get prime all around i got one more spot in the other fender which that's the only thing that i missed but everything is covered that fender both quarters the hood like i said got a little spot here that i'm gonna do now Right, boys also follow up on the rsx they've been working off camera like i said yeah remember the quarter panel was really mango up i said i was gonna leave this corner onto the next episode and i'm gonna save it but this how much i did nice and straight got the edge and everything i got it in primal so that's on rug so it's a quick update on the uh, rsx stay tuned for part two where are we gonna fix this? I might end up going to the Yonkyard and cut off a piece of a quarter panel from the RXS from this side and the other side so we could repair both of the corners and knock them out. This one I was attempting today to do a metal piece from another fender but was not even from the same vehicle. So I didn't like the way it came out. Again, I just gonna see if I could go to the Yonkyard in the future, cut off extra from another RXS, the corner, so we could clean this up and make a more OEM. So just a quick follow up on the RXX. But um, yeah, this is looking good. The car is looking straight little by little. It just things take time and time is money sometimes. So working, making money now is kind of hard. But the RSX is also getting there, little by little. Like I said, stay tuned, coming up for quarter panel repair part two, where we address this part right now and just leaving it for you guys. So I address all this on my own that I was gonna do. So, uh, yeah. All right, boys, everything is filled up. Like I said, pretty much I'm gonna wrap it up here. Leave it for another day. 
we're just sanding and priming rather than trying to just do something quick now and mess it up and ruin a good thing so these are last last touches got quarter panels got the fender got the hood done got the other fender filled up all on edges they need a addressing as you guys seen is nothing crazy that um i have done in the car one that i do is body work i come move on start working on the inside etc etc right now my job today was to knock this out so we could fill it in this is the final details on the body work on the crx so uh hopefully this video is uh helpful if not motivate your channel maybe you guys got a car at home don't know what to do just lose the fears don't be scared it's only metal it's only rust it could get addressed it could get fixed it could get rebuilt you could definitely save thousands of dollars by doing it yourself this is what my channel is about it might not be perfect but believe me in the 27 years that i have done body work i have made money doing this a lot of money so this is my way of paying you guys forward or paying it forward somebody that's less fortunate than us don't have it like us maybe doesn't know and want to learn this is your channel this is your chance don't wait on nobody no way in the weather all situations over here i made it work with no garage you guys seen in the past videos what we had to do we do what we gotta do by any means so with that being said thank you for watching subscribe like it and comment to the next time Peace.